Today we are going to talk about the water balance. The water balance means how much water enters an area and leaves again. An area can get water in three ways. The first way is by precipitation. Of course, especially in the Netherlands, we have a lot of precipitation. But in some parts of the world, mainly the dry and hot areas, we have quite a lot of evaporation. So there needs to be a balance between precipitation and evaporation. If there is more evaporation than precipitation, eventually the place will run out of water. If there is more precipitation than evaporation, the place will have more water. This is what we call the useful precipitation. That means the difference between precipitation and the evaporation. Another thing that has a lot of to do with how much water we can really use is by looking at the soil and the vegetation. For example, if we have a slope that has a lot of trees and plants on it, a lot of water will infiltrate in the soil. So the water will disappear into the ground. Unfortunately, nowadays we have a lot of deforestation. And due to this deforestation, the water flows much faster towards the ocean. Where normally the water would go inside the trees or the plants, it now just flows straight back to the ocean. And not only due to deforestation does the water flow back faster, but also through buildings. Roads, houses, streets, we have a lot of water that cannot get into the ground. A second way of receiving water in a location is through rivers. If a place is connected to a river or another stream or underground water, the place can get water. If this is a location in the lower course, of course you get all the water from the upper and middle course as well. So a place in the lower course, such as the Netherlands, will receive a lot of water through rivers, such as the Rhine and the Maas. These are all rivers coming from the higher parts of Europe, in the Alps, where all the water collects. The last one we get water from is through the supply of fossil water. This is also called like old water. The name for it is an aquifer. An aquifer is a layer with water underneath the surface. People can pump water from these aquifers and in this way supply themselves with the water. One of the downsides of an aquifer is that it is old fossil water. And just like with fossil fuels, it will eventually run out. So it is non-renewable water. And now you also have a difference between renewable water sources and non-renewable water sources. In which the aquifers are the non-renewable water sources and the rain, the precipitation and the rivers, they are a renewable water source. If a country uses all its non-renewable water sources, so it gets all its water from aquifers, it has a bad water management. If a country gets all its water from rivers or precipitation, then it is a very good water management. And a good water management means that it is very sustainable. It can last for a long time. So if you want a sustainable water management, you have to make sure that you don't use too much of those aquifers and start using the precipitation and the rivers. Thanks for watching guys. A special thanks to Mrs. Van Veren for joining me in making this video. I hope you learned something new today and of course I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.